Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. We're doing a self-care happy hour on a Wednesday instead of Thursday. Um, so we didn't really give you a heads up, but I'm glad y'all are joining us. And we're gonna make a blueberry smash Moscow mule. So Daniel's also here. I'm gonna see if we can find myself hey guys. on the computer. We're ready. <laughs> so tell them about our snafu with the blueberry. Some oh blackberry. Okay, so we wrote down, we made a list of everything that we needed, and then right when we, I don't even know what happened, we just kept picking up all the things we needed, we thought we had it all together, and then as I was going to go in the fridge to pull it all out, I realized <laughs> that we did not get the blackberries, so we're doing blueberries, because <laughs> we have blueberries. So yeah, so that's just that's just how the day's going. I was like, well, we're gonna. Luckily, we have blueberries in the fridge, so we're gonna be doing blueberries instead blueberries of blackberries. Instead. But we're gonna do a blueberry smash Moscow mule. I found this on a blog um, for Labor Day, and so this is one of those recipes that you can make like in a big jug if you want, and just everyone can fend for themselves. But we're gonna we're not gonna be making a jug of it today. We're just gonna make two. Yeah. So. Um, the recipe, so we'll kind of go through it, but you need fresh blueberries or blackberries, crushed ice, ginger beer, vodka, lime juice, and then lime wedges for garnish. So um, we've never made this before, so we're all just going to be making it together and learning. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, oil, good. yeah, so we hope it's good. Um, I was really excited about the idea of a blueberry <laughs> or uh, blackberry. Like but berries. blueberries are also good and I feel like it has similar like texture. So yeah. we're gonna go for it. So it says to put a cup, oh goodness, I already can see I'm gonna like spill this. A cup of blueberries in a tall glass and you're supposed to smash with a wooden spoon. Um, we don't have one of those. So we're gonna just use <laughs> this That's spoon. Good. good. Yeah, we're just gonna Smash. Smash the blueberries. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is what happens when you make food and cocktails with Daniel and Lo. We just work with what we have. <laughs> All right, you've been working out. Come on, smash them. Keep <laughs> working out. All right, let's smash this. So we um we're not we didn't do the self care and happy hour the last two weeks because I was in Colombia. So if you follow. Um, I, we mentioned it some on the business page, but if you follow me personally, then you saw me and two of my best friends were traveling <laughs> around Colombia. We went to Bogota, Medellin, Cartagena, and just, uh, we had so much fun. We ate and drank our way through Colombia. We also had plenty of rest. We read, we laughed, we cooked. cried. We cooked, we went to a cooking class. So I made fun. some like, Fresh arepas, they're so good. So we had a ton of fun. So it's gonna be back in the groove of things. Like we got back in the warehouse, or I got back in the warehouse this week, um, just getting everything caught back up on business. So it felt really good. So also, if you don't know who I am, I probably should have introduced myself at the beginning, but I am low with Passion Growth. This is Daniel. Daniel, nice to meet you. He helps out a ton in the warehouse and with our self-care happy hour. And with grocery shopping that we're both not very good at. <laughs> Apparently. But also on our adventure of grocery shopping, I'm not much of a flower girl, but apparently I'm turning into a flower girl. Because I got these, as my friend told me, they're a hydrangea. Hydrange hydrangeas? Is that how you say it? Hydrangeas. Hydrangeas. I don't know, but they're very pretty. And so I think I can be this type of flower girl, but nothing else. I'm not much more like <laughs> roses or carnations or I like the vibe of that. How does so. that look for you here? It looks honestly spectacular. I don't it know how it's very well smashed. It is I very mean, well smashed. And they want us to smash it so I mean. But I think it's I think it's honestly beautiful. I think it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay so now we have to fill the glass with ice. Right. So I'll let well we can it's supposed to be crushed but yet again we uh, we just work with what we have around here. I mean, I would rather have it like this, personally. I mean, come on, the nugget ice, though? Uh, oh, that's where it's at. Okay. But I'm not fancy enough to have one of those yet in my apartment, but maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we add the vodka. So we need... So, 
Two thirds uh, of a cup, right? A third. A third. Oh, calm down, Phil. Are you trying to get us oh, drunk? I mean, I. <laughs> <laughs> one third. All right, so one third. Wow. <laughs> it's already over here. Changing the whole recipe here. I know, you're trying to get us lit. Yeah, more alcohol. Okay. One third. A third cup of vodka. Okay. And then it's two thirds of ginger beer. Okay. We gotta fill it up to the tip top. Oh, Jesus. Says. I mean, don't get us drunk, but also don't short us. <laughs> All right. So that's that's about it, right? <laughs> yes. That's fine. There we do one more. <laughs> sure. Okay. And then I can do the ginger beer while you're doing the lime. So we need. One to two tablespoons. One to two tablespoons of, of lime. fresh lime juice. So we have our limes here. Okay. Fresh. <laughs> and then we also have chilled ginger beer. So to I, we just got some Kroger brand ginger beer. It's there's a bajillion brands out there. Um, this is just what we picked because there was like a 12 pack at Kroger. Um, but obviously the better like ginger beer you can buy, the better it's gonna taste. Yeah. I've never had Kroger ginger beer. Let's give it a shot. And I don't know what we're in for, but we're gonna try it out. So, two thirds of this. Right. I hope it's good. I mean, Kroger usually does right by us. Yeah, I do. Ooh, okay, hold on. We gotta get a bigger glass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, oh, let's do this. Ooh, that would be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. All right, so. Split it we need a bigger glass than what we just had. <laughs> Let's get our And then smash. we got two tablespoons. Uh, two, uh, one to two. So one to two tablespoons. Like, okay, so here's one. And then now let's get another one. And then I did one third ginger beer, but I'm going to do another third. Okay. Okay. And then here is another tablespoon. Perfect. Okay, and then we we stir and pray and hope that this tastes good. Um, if y'all are watching, let us know where you're watching from. I would love to interact with you. Let me know if you like Moscow Mules because we are making a blueberry Moscow Mule that should have been a blackberry. But hey, you know, blueberries, blackberries. <laughs> We're just here for whatever. I wonder if the blackberries would have been easier to smash. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably, yeah. I'm not gonna worry about it. We've got what we got. Hey. <laughs> there probably would have been, but hey, look. Blueberries are just as good for me. I wish we had like a like a strainer. Or, oh, I don't know. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour this. Natural drink. I'm all for it. <laughs> it's, it's organic. <laughs> it's organic vodka to drink. Homemade. Boy, she pours that down. Let's talk about the shirt. Okay. Tell us. This is, uh, this is the shirt that we have for this month, and we just got it. If you guys want to take a look at it here. There's a little line. You yeah, want to tell so. More about this, shirt? <laughs> this is our. What, ne what month is we're about to be in? September. So, this is our September t shirt of the month club. So our t I don't know why I said that's so awkward. Our t-shirt club is a monthly subscription. You get a t-shirt every month. It's $20. Um, and so this is the design for the one going out in September. So it says, find your road. Um, it's just, I don't know. I think of going into fall and just kind of like the mountains and just kind of like, I don't know, just like kind of finding your way as we all get back into routine, heading into the crazy holiday season and just kind of transitioning from summer to fall. So it's really cute. It's on a Heather Navy um, t-shirt and then the design is in white. It's super cute. Mm -hmm. If you want, he wore it today and got several compliments. I did actually. And I was so like, I'm for this shirt now. I was like, woo woo, <laughs> we designed that, we did that. So <laughs> super cute shirt. PNG baby. Uh, we were both like flustered coming out of the grocery store though, so neither one of us thought to plug like passion and growth, baby. <laughs> but <laughs> um, so tomorrow will be the last day if you sign up for the t-shirt club or our t-shirt and box combo that you can get this shirt. So it's awesome, it's super comfortable, it's like cozy, it's a heavy it material, yeah. it's soft. It feels great. So if you want this, 
sign up today or tomorrow and this will be your shirt that you get in the t-shirt club or the t-shirt and box combo. Okay, let's try this. So there's that and then I need a little knife. Just cut a little hole for my wedge for my garnish. Okay. Okay, we ready? Yeah, let's give it a shot. We'll see. It looks okay, so it's a very like pretty purpley muddled yeah, looks fruit. Nice. Cheers. Very fruity. What are we choosing to? We're cheering to I will say new beginnings with this coming up month and a reading that you have for the ones that are coming up. New beginnings. So cheers to new beginnings, friends. Wow. That tastes really good. Yeah, I, that's, that's great. That's good. I like the spiciness. Yeah, that's like the ginger beer. Yeah, like, right, the aftertaste. Yeah. So, the, for all wondering, good. Kroger ginger beer, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's not bad, actually. You can get a 12 pack for $4.99 right now, just in case you're wondering. Wow. Yep, that's really good. I like the aftertaste. That is refreshing. Okay. Very refreshing too. So that is a win. I love that. Definitely a win. Okay, so we got some people joining. So we've got Lisa. Um, Lisa, I love her. She's like our number one fan. She's always commenting on everything and she always comes her lies. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa, thank you. She says, I'm waiting for my shirt. Excited. Oh, it's super oh, cute. Yeah. I it's love so it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Lisa. I love that you're always joining and supporting us, and we just love having you as a customer. So you're the best. Okay, so in addition to our, we're, I don't know, we kind of had like a Labor Day theme going on here that I didn't really like touch on too much, but I know a lot of us on Monday, hopefully you guys have the day off as well, but a lot of people have the day off. It's like the last time pools are open some places, not here in Texas, mm -hmm. but it's still Texas. literally like, I don't know, 95 degrees here. So, yeah. um, no end in sight yet, but I know we'll probably be at the pool, so we wanted to come up with some fun, like, little snacks and cocktails if you're having, like, friends over or if you're hanging out with family or whatever you may do, and I may be doing on Labor Day. So this was the <laughs> Blueberry Smash Moscow Mule. Oh, you know what? I have little Moscow Mule glasses. Oh, you do? Wait, I have one at least. Where's that? <laughs> friend got me and my other friend the same girlfriends I traveled with um, to Columbia she got us for Christmas one year like this fancy like green Moscow mm. mule cup so nice. that is definitely what I should have put this in um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so this is the blueberry smash Moscow mule and then we also made a salsa which we pre-made because you have to blend it and that would have been really obnoxious and it had to be refrigerated too it had to chill but Daniel here made it so he can tell you a little bit about what he put in it and all that good stuff it's it's really tasty <laughs> also homemade organic we're joking about when we say organic I, I don't know please don't take me to yeah. don't take me seriously I'm yeah. <laughs> so there is the salsa guys and I will tell you everything about the recipe and how I made it. There you go. So I'm gonna sit here and sip my drink. So uh, we looked this up online, and uh, this is based on someone who we love who makes really good salsa. Oh yeah, this was inspired by this one of our inspired. friends. Yeah. Who makes amazing salsa? So basically, uh, four tomatoes, one red onion, three garlic cloves, three jalapenos. Mm. Uh, you can substitute that with the uh, habanero or serrano peppers. What'd you use? Uh, we use the jalapenos. Yeah, we use the jalapenos. And then uh, cilantro, one third of a cup of cilantro, three tablespoons of fresh lime juice, two to three teaspoons of ground cumin, two to three teaspoons of sugar. That's optional if you want or not. Did you use it? I did, yeah, because I like the sweetness taste of it okay. and the sauce uh salsa and then uh one and a half teaspoons of salt and then you can get a can of the fresh tomatoes and uh, 
Like a can of like, Rotel. Like a, with the green chilies and the fresh tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Get yeah, a can, can of, of that, Rotel. and then you can blend it afterwards. So basically you blend everything that I said before, and then you just let it sit for a little bit, and then you blend the tomatoes with the chilies. And I think it tastes really good. It actually and, tastes better. I don't know if you've tried it since you first made it, but the longer you let it like sit and like chill, um, it will taste like, like it has so much more flavor already. Did we pause? Uh, no, we should be good. We're good. So yeah, it's. I just thought it was gonna be. It was great to have that with a drink and everything. My battery's dying on my phone, of course. <laughs> Low power mode. I don't know. All of a sudden, through the last three days, my phone is just constantly dying. So. Um, Give it a shot. Oh yeah, we've got some new people joining us. So if you guys are just joining, say hey, let hey us guys. know where you're from. Um, so we were here and we made a blueberry smash Moscow mule. It was delicious. We used actually this vodka. Usually I'm a Tito's gal, but I've been traveling a lot lately and now I'm on a budget. And so I got this tower vodka, <laughs> which is slightly cheaper, but the reviews are awesome and they say it tastes like just as good. And I will say, it was, it's delicious. I can't yeah. honestly t tell much of a difference. Um, so Tower Vodka, this whole jug was like $25, which I don't know, it's a steal to me. So that was a total wine. And then, so we mixed the blueberries, um, ginger beer, vodka, we smashed the blueberries first, ice, lime, and mixed it all up and made this beautiful purple-esque drink, perfect for Labor Day. And then too. we made a jug also of salsa. So I will put both of these recipes um, in the comments. So that way if you wanna make it, you have it. They're super easy. We whipped these up. I mean, he made that in like what, 20 minutes? Yeah, like 20 minutes. And this, if you watched the beginning, we made it live. So you can go back and watch the replay. But <laughs> if you're watching, let us know, say hey to us. Um, I will let you know, so he is wearing the shirt for the t-shirt club for next month. So tomorrow is the last day to sign up for subscriptions. So part of what we do here is like the self-care happy hour and it's all about doing things that make us happy and bring us joy. Yeah. And we both love to eat, <laughs> love a good cocktail. So um, it, we are either making some type of food, drinks, DIY skincare. We do our unboxing for my subscription box. Um, so if you're new to Passion and Growth, I have a self-care subscription box for women. We ship it out every single month. Um, we pick a theme every month and curate items around it. And so this is actually the shirt for our t-shirt club. So in addition to our box, we also have a t-shirt club that we ship out every month as well. Uh, <clears throat> so this is the t-shirt club shirt. And we also have a combination of both. You can do our box and shirt combo, which is the best deal. And you'll get everything in the box plus the t-shirt. Um, so this shirt is the find your road. It's a heathered road. navy blue um, shirt. It's super cute. I'm glad he's repping it today. We got our <laughs> shirts in early, so actually we don't usually have them like in time to yeah, show we them. Usually, yeah, that is so true. We usually get them like right when we're about to start packing. Yes, so this, this time we actually got it in time to show you and like give a little sneak peek. But our theme for September, um, if you don't know, September is Self-Care Awareness Month. So we always try to do just like, we always are obviously practicing and talking about self-care all the time, but September is like a month dedicated to that. So our theme for September is self-care must-haves. So it's, it's everything in our box is kind of, um, it's just different items to help you find like what kind of self-care makes you happy. You know, like for me, like um, buying these flowers made me happy today, which I totally am not a flower girl. So this is... End. This is new, <laughs> and you guys, I don't know how to trim flowers. I think I trimmed these to <laughs> death. <laughs> she was taking her time with the flowers. I was like, are you? I don't know. I it? cut like this much. I don't know how much you're supposed to cut off the stem, but in order to get it to look right how I wanted in this base, I was like, chop, 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 chop. Dana's like, are you all right? Are you supposed are we to gonna cut have that flowers? much? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut that much, but that's what I did. <laughs> and they look pretty, pretty to me. I mean, they might die. I was just giving hard time. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I probably should have Googled it. I am the queen of Googling things. Whatever you need to know. But I didn't with this. I was just like, cut, 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 <laughs> till it fit and how I, how I liked it. But 
I don't know, so this is just a time for us to kind of come on here and talk with you guys and just to talk about self-care and just the importance of like finding what self-care like works for you. So really like thanks. what works for me might not work for you, what works for him might not work for you. And like, so our boxes usually always have like a combination of just different items, whether we always have a book, but um, past the book, I mean, it's, there's lifestyle items, skincare items, um, what other kind of stuff do we put in the, we put like sometimes travel items, um, words got, like, bags, words of affirmation. Um, it just, it totally varies depending on what our theme is. We've done jewelry. We actually have some jewelry coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, so we try to put different items to kind of hit the different aspects of self care in hopes that it will help you, you know, you find like what self care works for you. So for me, I'm very big on affirmations. Um, I actually last night got a sticky pad out and like wrote down some affirmations that I put on my mirror because I haven't done that. I recently moved a few months ago and just hadn't really done that. And I forgot how like important that was to me. And so I brought those back and like, so now every time I'm in my mirror, there's like things in there that remind me of what I want to be reminded of every day. Um, and so I like to read, I like words of affirmation. I like, to have fun cocktails and cook. I, but that's not for everybody. I mean, some other people, it's very different. And so we always try to curate a different collection of items to really just help you find fun, simple ways to incorporate into your life to like give you a moment to just take time for you and remember like what brings you joy. So that's really what we try to spend this like little 15, 20, 30 minutes doing here is just something fun that we like to do. Just changing the routine, you know? Changing the routine. Little something different and I'll admit okay. I'm the first person to say like I don't love being on camera I don't love going live it's just <laughs> something that's still hard for me um, I know I get on here and I like chat and talk 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 but it's it's not easy for me and so um, he's kind of like my accountability partner and so <laughs> I'm always like you're gonna do it with me this week right because it, with him like I'm held more accountable because it's something that's still hard for me but then I get on here and I like it and I enjoy it and I get to share with you why I do what I do and I love that side of it. But the act of like, okay, let's, it's fun for me to plan out what we want to do and then that few minutes before we start the camera, I'm like, but... All right. <laughs> I mean, we gotta do that. <laughs> like, I get, I, yeah. Still it's, doing this? <laughs> yeah, like, it's still it's not the most, like, comfortable thing for me, but I do truly, like, love sharing about, like, why... I do what I do and why I decided to create like my business and even just doing something like this, just taking that little bit of time out of your day to do something that, you know, like I, trust me, I'm not over here making craft cocktails like on the regular. That's, yeah. it's something I do all the time, but it is something I enjoy. It's like, that was really fun for me. Like, yeah. so I got to do something fun for me, show you something new and just hopefully remind you to like take those small moments out of your day and just find what lights you up. True. I love that. Have a sip now. That was, that was <laughs> fake sip, fake sip. <laughs> Got parched all that time. <laughs> okay, let me see if anyone else has said anything. No? Okay, well, I think that's really all we have. Um, yeah. I wanted to end with, yes, I was talking about the subscriptions when I got on a whole just hey. talking. But um, if you want to get our subscriptions, um, they ship next week for the September um, subscription so it's self-care must have so all the items in there there's six different items they all kind of touch on different aspects of self-care if you're new to self-care or you don't even know what you like which we've all been there it's a great way to just like get things delivered to your door and you can find out what you like so tomorrow is the deadline to get the September self-care must-have box and to get this shirt find your road find your this road. is a t-shirt club <laughs> also you get it if you do the combo box so tomorrow's last day, so I put the link is in the comments. If you want to sign up, we would love to have you. We're heading into our busy season, Q4, and we've got some banging boxes planned. Oh like God, these next good. few boxes are so good. They're so good. I I mean they're all great, but like I'm looking forward to this. Because we we custom designed and manufactured a lot of the products that are coming, and so I got to like pick the colors and pick like yeah. everything's like very cohesive and matches, and I'm just super excited about the next books. few months. The books are Look solid. Books. <laughs> the books are so good. We've got some um, in September. It's actually it's called Time Magic. 
by Melissa. How do you say her name? Ambru. Am, I can't say her name. I forgot. Um, it's not with an A. Her and someone else wrote it together. Um, get your and time it's like, back. yeah, it's time magic. So it's all about getting your time back, um, doing things for you, and it's a new release. So I'm super excited about that. It's and the great. other books that are coming are super cool too. So I don't know. I'm just really excited about everything coming. <laughs> so if you're not a part of Passion and Growth and a part of our subscription, you should join. We're really fun. The boxes are really fun. Um, and we could do this. So actually this used to be, we used to do this on Thursdays um, at 4 p.m. Um, Daniel actually just started school, which is yeah. like fantastic. He's doing <laughs> his thing with that. And so in order to keep me more accountable also, I was like, well, I need you to still do it with me. So let's move it to Wednesday. To Wednesday now. <laughs> so, so, Wednesdays. <laughs> so now it's going to be Wednesdays at 4 p.m. So um, I will make that announcement and drop that. But we'll drop all these recipes. Uh, if you Oh, Sarah's watching. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> oh, Sarah, my friend. Um, okay. Well, good to see you, Sarah. But I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll put the recipes in here so you can make some of these for Labor Day if you want. If you make this cocktail or the salsa, let us know because it's fabulous. Um, I hope you guys just have a great rest of your day. Yeah, you guys have a great day. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Yes, thank you. We love you. <laughs>